hey guys so if you install ios 16 out of excitement and now regretting and planning to go back to the 15 for whatever reason without losing any data whether you have the backup or not i'll try and cover all of that in this video so if you are new to the channel subscribe like this video guys let's begin so first up what you need is a lightning cable and also a laptop it can be windows laptop or a macbook the process and the steps are pretty much the same i'll try and cover both of these so first up go into the settings and search for find my iphone and just make sure you disable this you need to enter the password and just disable this it's already disabled here so that we do not have any issues while installing or verifying the update and stuff now go ahead and connect the lightning cable to the iphone and other end obviously to the laptop windows or mac and make sure the iphone is at least charged to about 60 percent or so now let's head over to the computer so now you need to go ahead and install the ios 15 firmware file i chose the latest one because it is being signed so there are no issues verifying the update etc so now when you open the itunes on your windows or on the mac if you open the finder you come across the screen so if you already have a backup made in the ios 15 prior to upgrading to the ios 16 it's well and good if not you can still take a backup on the ios 16 and try and restore this on the ios 15 but you need to follow some extra couple steps in order to restore the 16 backup onto ios 15 which i'll try and show you at the end of the video all right now let's jump on to the action now here click on the restore iphone while pressing the option key on the mac and shift key on the iphone and it will pop up a window like this and you need to choose the ipsw or the firmware file that we have already downloaded and just click open and uh, again click on restore now this will initiate the restore process and your iphone will look something like this and you don't need to fiddle with any keys to put this in the recovery mode everything is done automatically as you can see so this entire process may take anything about 30 to 40 minutes restoring the update verifying the update and stuff like that and finally you will see the screen that it is finally successfully restored your iphone will get to this welcome screen like a fresh new phone so just try and skip through the setup process and get to this point where you can start restoring it from mac or windows which is what we are going to do right now so click restore at this point and uh, your phone will look something like this now let's move on to the computer here so if you have the ios 15 backup you can just go ahead and click on the restore and it is easy peasy it's done automatically in about 30 40 minutes depending on the size and as you can see the restore is complete but you need to still set up stuff like face id and maybe uh, your apple id and stuff like that but all the other stuff like sms call logs photos everything is restored and also you can see all the apps are being downloaded but if you have the ios 16 backup then you need to look at that backup file on mac just click on the go menu and here click option button and you will get this library option and click on the library and now here go into the application support and also inside that you will find the mobile sync and this is where you will find the backups on the windows you can locate this file using the run window just search for these two terms you should be able to find the location so open the backup folder and here you will find something called the info.plist now we need to edit this file but to open this file on the windows you can use a uh, notepads and stuff like that but on mac you need xcode and stuff but one little workaround is just follow the on-screen instructions you need to just change the application that this file needs to be opened with so click on the all applications and choose text edit and this should let us open the file and make the changes that we want now once you open the file just press ctrl f and now type product and press enter so you will find this particular keyword here we just need to change the ios version you should see ios 16 in this place because it is the ios 16 backup but what you need to do is just change this to ios 15.5 and just save the file and now go back to the itunes or the finder and just follow the same instructions earlier that we followed to restore it and it should help you restore the backup 
so anyway that's pretty much it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel also like this video thanks for watching i'll see you soon